Well, the walls went up pretty quick. I just came every morning and did one of the sections. It was sunny all morning this week, though. Oh, so hot. Whatever, though. I got it done. All right. Then I put on these strings. This is paracord. And then this is just some quarter inch rope. And I put some nice fat ropes at the bottom. And then another strong one up at the top. Because, uh, you know, there's more water pressure at the bottom, obviously. And then at the top, I need a fat one to support the roof. Because the roof is just going to be a shallow dome. Or maybe kind of sh shallow cylinder dome-ish. So it'll push out. So I need a good strong rope at the top. Now to do the roof, I was looking around and I have this uh, really short cone, uh, fiberglass cone. It's like, it's almost wide enough to do the whole thing. And I was thinking of putting the fiberglass cone in here and then just putting uh, concrete over it and then pulling the fiberglass cone out. And since the fiberglass cone is fe flexible, as long as I leave a hole, I should be able to roll it up and pull it out. Uh, the problem is it doesn't go all the way to the edge, so I, I started putting a lip here, so the cone will go from here up and down and touch that other side. So to do this lip, I was not sure how well this was going to work. However, it looks like it is doing the trick. It's actually working really well. And I was thinking this technique could be scaled up. And uh, one could, if you had the, a really good curved piece, you could just keep going, right, till you get to the center. I don't need to do that here. I just need to go around the outside. But uh, I'm thinking maybe in a future building, I'll do a technique like this and yeah, yeah, just do section and then like get one row down all the way around and then just move it up and do the next row all the way around. Because it's pretty easy to do. And this is a really shallow curve. Uh, and it's still holding up. This is uh, maybe 12 hour old concrete. I did it yesterday evening. And it's already strong enough to Keep it shape. This is the piece of wood I was using on my fiberglass form, you know, to keep the shape. Since I'm done the walls, I uh, pulled it off. Okay, I pulled it off and then made a bunch of slits down the bottom end and then screwed it down to this curve. So, now it's got the curve going the right way, so when I put it up, it makes these. Marvelous. Oh, and for my uh, concrete release, my mold release, I'm just smearing some clay on here, which does not work that well, but eh, it's all right. Clay soup. Well, I know this actually makes it stick more. I don't know. Oh, this does not fit here well. Yikes. You know, we're going to come up to a spot like this. Oh, it's a nice big space there. So when I made this thing, I wasn't sure of the size of the concrete floor I made down here. I don't remember exactly. So I guessed a little bit. And when I got over here, I had to fudge this and make it a tighter corner to not go off the edge or not get too close to the edge. The rest of it, this fits pretty well. It's just this one spot here. Now, what do I do about this? Yeah, I think I can just take some rocks 
and lay them in here. Yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah, totally good. I'll just put the concrete right over that. Yeah, this will be fine. All right, more rocks. Looks pretty good. Does not pass inspection. Really? I don't know. Well, let me inspect it. Hmm. Uh, yeah, it looks good. Inspection passed. I just need to be careful when I put the concrete on here so I don't move the rocks. Oh, camera malfunction. All right, I'm not sure if the last video clip made it in there. It was just me putting this stuff on. I just put it on by hand so as not to disturb my rocks. All right, I gotta go wash my hands before this starts eating through my skin. Okay, now the question is, why can I make something that overhangs so much when it's just concrete? There's no reinforcement in it or anything. It's just overhanging like, I don't know, like 20 centimeters. Um, okay, the, the secret is, not that it's a really big secret for anyone who understands math. Uh, when I put this mold in here, that means I've got one line going across here. So there's no part that's just hanging straight over because this end part, now this goes in a little bit. So maybe this little tiny edge here is at risk of falling off, but only like a little tiny bit. But for the most part, this has a full line going across, like a, a line that's in an arc. And as long as the ends hold it from pushing out, and that's why I've got this nice strong rope here, um, it'll hold its shape. So I get like with the first piece of this, which was over here, it cut off over there. And yeah, it was overhanging a lot. However, it had this arc at the edge that kept it from collapsing in. And then of course, once the whole thing is in, like to collapse in, it, it would have to push out. So as long as the outside is contained, it won't be able to push out. Ugh, eggshells are so great. I love domes. Now I want to get everything wet and then put it all in the shade. Well, while I'm here, I might as well get my little spigot, not spigot, the in the intake, whatever you call it, the intake overflow in there. My out's down there somewhere. And it would kind of be really nice to get this all spackled, cover up these ropes. All right. I guess there's no better time than the right now. Use my little sifter over there to get all the rocks out. So I'm basically down to sand. And I've mixed mm, like four parts sand and one part cement. There's my bucket of cement to keep it covered so no water gets in it. And uh, that's going to be my spackle. Well, some water, obviously. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make it pretty wet because the wall is going to suck up some moisture right away. That is definitely soupier than you'd want concrete. Oh, let me hope that I'm not just being crazy. That looks pretty good. Oh, very elegant technique, Jamie. Yes, shut up. It's getting on there. Who cares? back end of this because that is going to be the worst part. Let's get it over with. 
Ooh, that is looking good. Just have a little bit left, but I'm out of water. You know, this is not that hard to make. And it would be an awesome kids clubhouse. Oh, I might have to do that and make the ceiling tall enough for me to get in too. Because, you know, I'm a kid.